Hello friends, in this video, let's see about data types in LabVIEW. To indicate the type of data or variables we use in our program, we use data types. There are many data types in LabVIEW. Among them, the most commonly used data types are numeric, boolean, string and array. First, let's see about these data types and then we shall see the remaining others. Under numeric data type, we have integer and float data type. To see about integer data type, first I am placing a integer numeric constant and then I am doing a right click on this terminal. And if I click on create indicator, a numeric indicator will get connected. This integer data type can be used whenever we need to use integer values in our program. Next we can see about float data type. To use decimal values in our program, we use this floating and double numeric data type. Now I am placing a double numeric constant and then if I do a right click on this terminal and if I click on create indicator an indicator suitable to this double numeric constant will get connected and in our block diagram screen we can see both the integer numeric data type and float numeric data type represented in different colors and numeric indicators has many representation but while using floating and double numeric data type in our program double numeric representation will get selected in our numeric indicator and now let's see about boolean data type I am placing a boolean constant in our block diagram screen and to the output terminal of the boolean constant I am connecting a boolean indicator just by doing a right click on this terminal and selecting create indicator. And this boolean data type are used in our program while using true or false conditions in our program. Now let us see about string data type. I am selecting a string constant and placing it on the block diagram screen and to its output terminal I am connecting an indicator. To use string values in our program we use string data type. Since each data types are represented in unique colors, connecting one data type with other can be avoided. Next is about array data type. To use set or group of values in our program, we use array data type. So now I am choosing an array and placing it on the block diagram screen. And to give multiple integer values as input to our program, I am using this array as an integer array constant by placing a numeric constant inside this array. To its output terminal, I am connecting an indicator by doing a right click on its output terminal and selecting create indicator so that an array indicator suitable for this numeric array constant will get connected and we can see that the wire in between the integer array constant and array indicator is thicker similarly we can also use an array as boolean array so that i am placing an array on this block diagram screen and then i am choosing a boolean constant and placing it inside this array so that this array will act as a boolean array constant and on its output terminal, if I do a right click and select create indicator, a boolean array indicator will get connected to its output terminal. To use multiple boolean values in our program, we use boolean array. Likewise, we can also convert an array a string array by placing a string inside this array. So I am placing an array and then if I select a string constant and place it over this array, this array will behave as a string array constant and then on its output terminal if I do a right click and select create indicator a string array indicator will get connected to use multiple string values in our program we use string array so these are the commonly used data types in LabVIEW and now we shall see the remaining data types and one among them is cluster data type to use different data types as single cluster we use cluster data type and the next one is error cluster data type this data type is used to provide error or warning messages in our program then enum data type this enum data type can be used while using combination of data types for example to give a string value followed by an integer value in our program we use enum data type in lab we also have ring data type waveform data type and also many other data types so we shall continue in our next video thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you